Let's talk about eggs. The healing item first introduced to the Resident Evil series in Resident Evil 4, which later made an appearance in Resident Evil 5. In Resident Evil 4, there are three types of eggs. White, brown, and golden. Anyone who's played the game knows that each colour represents the different healing ability of each egg. Leon's full health bar has a value of 2,400, with each small segment counting for 240 HP. A white egg will heal 400 HP. A brown egg will heal 800 HP. And a golden egg will refill the entire health bar of 2,400 HP. This is all common knowledge, but what may be new to you is all the other things you can do with eggs in Resident Evil 4, and some of these might surprise you. Unlike rotten eggs in Resident Evil 5, eggs in Resident Evil 4 do not deal any damage to enemies. This also means they can't be used to break anything that requires being shot at, such as boxes, medallions, bird nests, switches, jewels, the blocks in the clock tower, the wooden beams during the minecart section, searchlights, crowds of robots, locks, the wine painting, or other eggs. They also cannot stop a projectile in midair or ring bells. <laughs> Curiously, they can break glass. Wooden panels covering windows. Use this. Set off explosives. And trigger bear traps. This means you can save the dog with an egg or use them to smash up the laboratory. So, what other interesting things can we do with eggs? We can bounce them off ceilings, for some reason. We can use eggs to stun Ashley into breaking the game by pushing her through the Chimera wall. This will softlock the game as you need her to progress into the water room, but at least we know she's very safe now. We can torment the Garador until he literally spins further into insanity. or tries to leave. We can help a Novistador with his daily workout routine.
While Krauser may not care how many times we egg him, Luis absolutely does. Throw one too many eggs at him and he'll react rather violently. Adios, Leon. Although eggs can't kill enemies, they can be used to stun them effectively, allowing you to use melees or save Ashley when she's being carried away. It's also possible to stun crows with eggs. This is interesting, as a flash grenade will kill them, but an egg that is the same size as their head will not. But is it possible to kill an enemy with eggs? Surprisingly, yes. Although crows get stunned by eggs, ironically, the chickens are killed by them. As for the ganado, the ones carrying the torches who blow fire can be killed with eggs. Ganados standing on ledges can also be knocked down with eggs, oftentimes ensuring a kill. Since ganados take fall damage, camping at the top of a ladder with eggs is also a way to kill them. Eggs can also be used to kill some very specific ganados, such as the truck driver. The zealot controlling the drill and even the dragon statue zealots in the lava room. You can also teach the lever ganado in the mines how to airwalk. Most other enemies are unaffected by eggs, however, while experimenting for this video, I somehow managed to break Verdugo's AI by pelting him with eggs while he was frozen.
And finally, there is a boss which can be defeated using eggs. None other than Sadler himself. It will take a long time, but eventually he will fall to the almighty power of protein. And there you have all the things you can do in Resident Evil 4 with 120 eggs. And before you ask, I will remake this video for the Resident Evil 4 remake eventually, so don't worry. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you learned something new, please leave a like and a comment to help me in the YouTube algorithm, which eggs also have no effect on. If you would like to see more content like this, consider subscribing. And before I go, I'd like to thank my stars, PSA, and Corgi Squad members MadMads007, JoJo, Silent Chaos, and Chemistry19. Along with my top channel supporters Hilo Canugo, I am Luke65, Johan Schmermund, Melissa Zeeps, Secutor Libertatum, The Shadowed One, US Marine Corps Win TRW, Victor Brown, and Viviana G. I wish you all the best and a happy Easter, and I'll see you in the next video.